Hello, welcome to my channel if you are new. And for those who have been with me for quite some time now, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna be touching the topic of borderline personality disorder, but I'm gonna give this a little bit of a twist and I'm gonna be talking specifically about one group and that is mothers and daughters. It's interesting how many moms, how many daughters I have seen over the years who are not only struggling with their own diagnosis of borderline personality disorder, but they're also struggling with the other person's borderline personality disorder. So, it's you know, sometimes it's beyond difficult to deal with a family member who has a personality disorder. It's really difficult to try to, to come together as a team or come together as family members or come together as friends, coworkers, and agree to disagree, get along, you know, make amends when necessary, forgive each other when there's a personality disorder at the core. Personality disorders are pretty complicated and not all of them require treatment, but most of them do. The ones that I'm specifically thinking about would be narcissistic personality disorder, uh, dependent personality disorder, obsessive compulsive personality disorder, and let's just throw in there paranoid personality disorder. Therapy for people with personality disorders is really difficult because most of the time they don't believe that there is a problem and they certainly don't think that they need help. So trying to get individuals with personality disorders help is really hard. But what happens when your parent, specifically your mother, has borderline personality disorder and let's just do this for, for you know, making the video interesting, your sister. So what if you have a mother and a sister with borderline personality disorder? What if you are a son and a father who has a wife and a mother and sister with borderline personality disorder? What do you do? What are the dynamics and how does it impact you? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about that. I'm going to highlight the, the relationship between a mother and a daughter who has borderline personality disorder, as well as a son and a father who are trying to live with the reality of having a mom, a wife with borderline personality. But before we jump in, let me briefly introduce myself in case you were new. My name is Tamara. I'm an internationally and board certified trauma therapist, a muscle licensed in mental health. I specialize in treating children, teens, and families, as well as adults who are dealing with trauma right in my private practice. Let's jump in. I, I don't see a lot of information online that talks about borderline personality disorder in a, in a mother-daughter relationship. And one of the reasons why is because it's a topic that's not really researched a lot and you really have to find some, some experts on Google before you can, can actually get the information that you need. You can't just Google mother-daughter with borderline personality disorder and come up with a lot of research studies. It is not not a researched area um, you know that's taking precedence over anything else in the research field we need more information about the mother-daughter dynamic if both have borderline personality disorder we also need more information and research on the relationship between a son and his mother with borderline personality disorder and a husband and his wife with borderline personality disorder we're lacking that kind of research so um, a lot of the information that you're gonna see on Online is specific individuals who either practice in treating borderline personality um, or somebody who has had a personal experience uh, with this particular disorder. Now, let me just highlight briefly, borderline personality disorder is really almost like a, an emotion dysregulation kind of disorder. It's a personality disorder, meaning that it's developed over time and it can happen as a result of, a, of an abusive history an invalidating family environment or because of the interplay uh, or the connection between family and genetics. But it's really difficult to deal with when you don't know what's going on. Let's say, for example, your mom has borderline personality disorder. She doesn't have a, a formal diagnosis. Uh, there's no treatment occurring, but you know just by the way that they are behaving that something is wrong. And let's say this mother is the mother of a daughter with borderline personality disorder. What happens there? 
The most important thing I want you to consider in this video is that there are differing presentations with genders. So a mother with borderline personality disorder who has a daughter with BPD is probably going to have a very toxic, dysfunctional, unhealthy family dynamic. One of the reasons why is because they are both emotional. They both have personality um, challenges. They both have emotion dysregulation and they both probably have uh, feelings of of invalidation from from you know either one of them right the daughter feels invalidated by the mother and the mother feels invalidated by the daughter most likely there's some paranoia which comes about when you know someone with BPD um, feels like they are being harmed or hurt or abandoned in some way uh, paranoia is a, is a common symptom in somebody with untreated uh, borderline personality and even those who are treated as well. Um, and let me just throw in here too, just that fear of abandonment, you know, if the mom has that fear of abandonment and the daughter has that fear, I mean, it's going to be a pretty lethal mix between the two of them. And can you imagine what this is like if the teenage girl has borderline personality and the mother who's an adult? I mean, it can be really difficult. And I've treated families like this and it's really, really hard. So let me highlight what the dynamic between mother and daughter probably will be. Okay, so the first thing that you're likely to see is aggression. Uh, usually with a mother and a daughter who have borderline personality disorder, there's passive aggressive behaviors going on. Here's a definition right here of passive aggressive behaviors. There's also aggression in terms of yelling and screaming, cursing, profanity, I should say, uh, slamming doors, um, you know, being really bogartish and dominating, you know. Uh, you know, you may also see in these particular families where there's a daughter or mother with borderline personality disorder, the father or the husband tends to get run over a lot by the wife and the daughter because he probably is a quiet, calm, laid back person while mom is really dominant and angry and just frustrated and controlling and overly emotional. And the daughter is also the same way. And so he's living in a household where there's two people who can't regulate their emotions or they refuse to regulate their emotions. And so therefore he is stuck. Most likely depressed, most likely overwhelmed, most likely most likely anxious. So, you know, this is something that happens a lot, guys. And unfortunately, it happens more than I care to admit. The next thing that you're likely to see is inattention and fear of abandonment. Now, inattention might come in two forms. One is I can't pay attention to what I need to get done. The other is I don't have the attention span to pay attention to you any longer. You know, I've kind of met my my cap. I can't give you any more of my attention. You may notice that in a mother with borderline personality disorder, you're going to see that inattention. They don't want to talk. They're tired. They they've met their their cap or their 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 gas tank is too full. They can't do it. The daughter with borderline personality disorder may begin to press on the mother and may begin to apply even more pressure the more mom backs up or puts the boundary up and says, I can't go any further. So the mother with borderline personality disorder says, I can't do this anymore. I'm overwhelmed. And the daughter with borderline personality disorder says, I don't care. I feel I feel abandoned, excuse me, and invalidated. And this is a dynamic I see a lot of in psychotherapy. You're also likely to see mom and daughter exhibit traits of narcissism at times right one has to be the center of attention the other one wants the center of attention as well you may notice that in mom she's really defensive um, and she doesn't necessarily want to admit that she too has issues and she may hide her borderline personality diagnosis from the daughter and the husband because she doesn't want to be you know seen through the lens of a personality disorder or seen through the lens of not being able to regulate her emotions um, and I've seen families like that too, where I'm like, mom is BPD as well as the daughter, but mom is not being open about it, you know? Um, in these particular families, you're gonna, you know, you're going to also see an unstable sense of self. You're gonna see some codependency. You're gonna see some desire to control every inch of the family. You're also gonna see a preoccupation with um, just trying to find equilibrium. You know, that inability to find that comfort zone and in order to find that comfort zone, that mother may do some things that are way over the top, that are very narcissistic, that's very unhealthy, and the daughter may do the same thing. It's almost like they are both lethal, toxic bombs 
and one is going to push the buttons of the other, right? Mom's going to do it, daughter's going to do it. The scary part is that these particular relationships don't last long because as soon as the kid turns 18 or gets financially secure or gets into a relationship that makes them feel loved and cared for, adios mom, I can't do this anymore and the daughter leaves. Sometimes the mother will leave too and leave the burden on the father, right? Or sometimes if the father has borderline personality disorder, he will leave and leave the burden on the mom. It's a really unhealthy dynamic, but it's because there's no management of emotions. There's an inability to talk and, and clear the air. And sometimes there's just a, there's a desire to escape, right? Because the household is too lethal. And for the most part, it's because daughter and mom both have BPD. Now, what happens if you're a son and you have a mother with borderline personality? Well, the first thing is that they may vilify you, okay? Especially if you try to move out, if you try to gain some independence, if you get into a relationship with another female, right? A friend, a romantic interest, they may try to break you up, control your life with that individual. Um, and this is not all mothers, right? Because some moms just don't like the women that their sons, you know, attach themselves to. But in a, in a family where there's clear borderline personality disorder in the mom or with the mom, you know, they may try to vilify you and, and, and really try to break your relationships up because they need your attention. There's almost an emotional and psychological codependency that creates a, an unhealthy emotional relationship. There's probably parentification, you're probably parentified, and especially if you have younger siblings. Um, they also have this disposition with their sons of, I need you, I can't live without you, I need you to help me, what am I gonna do without you, right? They may even try to guilt you into being their emotional and psychological support or guilt you into raising your siblings. You know, that's a possibility as well. You could also see manipulation. Uh, you can also see jealousy. They may be jealous of a female that you're interested in or jealous of your independence or jealous of the fact that, you know, you're able to move out of the house and get some um, independence and, and some stability, excuse me, outside of them. And they can't take that either sometimes. If you have a mom who has borderline personality disorder and she is also narcissistic, that's an issue as well because they're going to see to it that you're always there with them and you don't have enough energy to go to your side of the world and engage because they need you to be with them. It's almost like they intentionally drain you so that you'll be too tired to think. Um, you're also going to see with a mother with borderline personality disorder, if you're a male, there may be some unhealthy boundaries as well and an, and an imbalance of power, meaning your mom's going to hold that power because they're going to guilt you. They're going to make you feel, you know, like you've done something wrong. They're going to say that you're abandoning them, right? They're going to say that you're invalidating them. Having a mother with borderline personality disorder, especially when it is untreated or poorly treated, can really be overwhelming. And it can lead to a lot of emotional challenges that you're going to experience within yourself and within your own life. Let me put a disclaimer at the end of this video just to, to help you understand that this video is not to vilify people with borderline personality disorder, especially parents. It's to highlight the challenge that happens in families where there's borderline personality disorder and where it's treated in a not so good way, right? It's poorly treated or it is treated, but it's not enough treatment, you know? Um, so I'm highlighting what the dynamics of these families can be. Thank you so much for being with me today in this video, guys. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful and hit that subscribe and bell button if you wanna get notifications every time I post a live video, every time I post a video on my channel. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.